two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon everyone, it's Garrett and in today's tutorial we're going to be going over how to create your own personality flat design banner. So right here is going to be a quick example that I made in a very quick time, about 5-10 minutes. And uh, it's really easy to do, it's really fun to do, and it's very cool to kind of create your own personality. So in this one I decided to include, you know, an iPhone, a uh, Wacom Intinuous Pro tablet, some post-it notes, some sunglasses, a uh, hard drive, and then also obviously a laptop, a MacBook, my choice. And uh, it's really easy to do and it's a lot of fun kind of manipulating stuff and like pushing stuff together to kind of create your own personality. Whether you'd be a tech person or kind of laid back mellow person want some coffee everywhere. But it's really fun to kind of create your own style and kind of bring this your own way so in today's tutorial we're going to be going over how to find these own mock-ups that i'm going to be using and uh, basically how to import them and kind of make your own style and stuff like that so first things first the font i'm going to be using in the middle is going to be a font called surfing capital i've been using it a lot lately in my tutorials so definitely go check it out it's a really awesome font probably going to be using it for a couple more and then i'm going to tone down to something else a different style the second thing we want to head over to the description below is click on this graphic burgers link and this is basically going to bring you guys to a flat design page on their website where you guys can find your own free mock-ups and uh, they have like flat icon packs, but we're going to be going towards more of the flat design um, PSD mockups. So they have a very cool idea of stationary stuff, whether it be, you know, pizza, headphones. This is the one we're going to be using. And uh, you can click on them, go through them. Obviously, they have like notebooks, more um, kind of fancy and more professional stuff there. And you can totally go through this whole entire put thing. They have like min uh, minimalist styles and uh, just really cool things you guys can all throw together. So this is a really cool website. Definitely go bookmark this. I'm going to be doing a video later on about it. But definitely something that should interest all of you as it's just a really easy thing to do. And uh, you know, it's a really cool website. So the one I'm going to be using is actually going to be go up a little bit more. It's going to be the flat icon desk items because I just think that these look a little bit better fit my style a little bit more. So they have an iMac, um, keyboard, mouse, a whatever that's called, I forget the picture name, um, markers, a USB, Intinuous Pro, and basically a full kind of sheet of stuff. So you can see here's a couple kind of examples that they've made. I've used these in my tutorials before and uh, just something really fun to make and really clean to make. So definitely something that you should go check out. So over here is going to be the download link. All you have to do is click on it and then it's going to download a WinRAR. I would just export that to your desktop and then you're going to have this file full of the AI files which is going to be you know something that you want to click on if you guys want to mess with colors and mess with the way it looks. And then you guys have like images and stuff like that. However, we're only going to be using the desktop items all. So like I said guys, just click on that one and zoom in and then you can start getting a feel for what you'd like to use. So hopping over straight into Photoshop once again, just make a new document. I'm using the size 1500 by 500 for a Twitter header. You guys can use whatever size you'd like for um, an advertisement design, an iPhone wallpaper, or your own YouTube banner. So basically starting straight off, you're gonna wanna change the background color to something that you want to kind of represent yourself. So I really like the color light blue. I think it's a really nice color. However, you can use purple, red, orange, green, yellow. I'm going to stick to my light blues because I think it's a really cool kind of color that kind of pops in people's eyes. It looks really well with that kind of steel and white color. So right here on the whole entire thing, we're going to have a bunch of kind of um, smart object files that you guys can go through. I would not try to double click these because it's going to change a lot of stuff that's going to open in Illustrator. And then we're going to have this noise file right here, which we're going to be using later. But uh, basically, this is the really easy part. It's pretty much finding what you want to use and then just dragging it in. Whether it be, you know, it has beats down here, it has um, coffee, tea, spoon, iPhones, uh, pizza, whatever it would be, you guys can totally drag it in. So personally, I'm more of a kind of tech kid. I have a lot of cool technology kind of stuff in my room. So uh, the first thing I'm actually going to grab is that Intinuous Pro and the pen. Just pretty much click on the first one, um, hold shift and click on the second one so you can drag it around and just drag it straight into your document. And then you guys can hit like control T on it. You guys can rotate it a little bit and throw it in the corner somewhere. And uh, you're only going to want to put something big on one side and on the other side. So for this side, I'm going to put that. And then the other side, I'm actually going to put the MacBook Pro and the um, hard drive because I just feel like those two look really well together. I'm going to move that over to the side as well. Maybe shrink this one down a little bit more, a little bit off the page. 
and then I can totally mess with the size later on because they are smart objects so they are scalable and I'm actually gonna quick wanna put the text in so I'm gonna put just bare design for this tutorial you guys can put whatever your name is like so just type in your name change the color picker to white and like I said the font is gonna be surf and capital so definitely go check that font out and uh, you're gonna wanna center your font so of course using the rulers is a perfect thing to do however you guys do not have that just kinda eyeball it for now kind of a nice sloppy effect you guys can leave on this one and just kind of center these and scale them a little bit differently so you kind of have equal space around it so now that you have the kind of two complementing things on each side you're going to want to go over and start looking at other things like the post-it notes you can just basically drag these in and scale them down maybe turn them over to one side you can put it like in the corner right here you can just keep going through you can put mess with the iphones there's a stapler you can throw in a stapler and uh you know like i said guys it's a lot of things that you can just basically mess with i would try to keep the drop shadows in the same direction if possible if not not a lot of people will notice um it's just something that i personally think that would look a little bit cleaner but uh like i said just keep going back and forth and you know they have nerf guns and you can scroll down when you're clicking on these like putting a nerf gun inside of one of your own works throws a little bit of personality that you're kind of more fun and more kind of um i guess like kiddish not immature but more of a kid and like i said you guys can just basically go through here like you can take out a calculator maybe a usb maybe a marker i'm gonna take the usb out just kind of place this around here maybe scale it down a little bit put that next to the macbook and then go down grab some earphones because i'm always listening to music my parents are always yelling at me for that they always yell at me thinking why am i always listening to music however music saves lives so we can basically start you know slowing down with adding things maybe filling up the space up here a little bit more could do something really well so i'm going to throw actually just a wallet up there just something clean and then i'm going to just put right here a little bit of a wallet just like right here next to the iMac very small wallet holding my debit card and stuff and so the next thing you're gonna want to do is actually head back over to Google and just type in arrow doodle and basically finding this arrow doodle is basically gonna help kind of create a cool effect so you guys can use any kind of dueling thing that you would want on um, whether it be you know trash cans stuff like this I'm only gonna use this one because I think it looks really cool it's all you have to do is right click on it and save the image the link will be in the description for it and uh, you're gonna want to just open it up and then right click on it go to blending options color overlay and make it white and then just drag it straight into your template and then you want to scale it down so it kind of looks like it's going around your text hit Control j edit transform and flip 180 and then put it on the other side and then you guys can lower the opacity so it matches the text transparency so now that we have this done and we can start adding that noise I was talking about. So go back over here to those kind of templates that you're using. Um, unlock the layer and just drag it into your file. Hit control T and make sure that all these lines cover everything. Hit enter. Zoom out. And basically this is when you guys can start doing your own thing. So you guys can totally just take your font. Maybe you throw a couple like letters out here couple you know maybe ASDF throw like over here hit control J duplicate it maybe put this over here you guys can type in like the word subscribe because you guys should all subscribe to my channel I'm trying to keep the channel flowing maybe move that over here to kind of the arrow and uh, basically that's gonna be it you guys can totally do your own thing like I said you guys can actually go over to Google and look at these doodles and these are a really cool thing you know just type in like Google, uh, <laughs> not Google doodle stocks illustrations PNGs or whatever you want to put and uh, you guys can find like cool arrows you can type in um icon doodle and you can find like doodles of icons and stuff like that you can make black and white maybe for social links but uh, this is basically going to be the introduction to kind of creating your own personality style. The next tutorial, we might be going into a kind of back to school style. It's really fun to do, really easy to do. So something that everyone should be interested in. 
but uh really you guys can take this whole entire thing into your own way i would definitely recommend not copying this while i'm exactly the same and if you guys do however post this on social media don't claim it as yours because it's not yours you're actually just using a bunch of stuff that other designers made so that's definitely something that you guys want to make sure that you're not just taking credit for all this stuff because this is made by a designer himself so definitely go check out graphic burgers i believe the name is up in the description you guys can download your own flat icon device um, items and then you can make your own personality design banners and it's really fun to do and i really do enjoy doing this i don't do them for clients but however i do it for fun and kind of like mock-ups for thumbnails sometimes but uh, that's going to be it for today's tutorial if you guys did enjoy this make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe i'm sorry i don't have any free psds or um any psds to sell um, maybe in the next tutorial, but that's basically going to be it. If you guys do want to submit your own video ideas, just comment below. Get my attention somehow. I always look at the comments, so definitely something that everyone should do. And uh, basically, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy the daily uploads, and hope you guys made it to the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below if you did. But other than that, guys, just tweet at me what you made, and I'll see you guys in a later on video. Peace out.